Reskinning Assets with Scenario. In this video, we'll show you how to easily reskin 2D assets using AI without starting from scratch. Reskinning lets you update textures, colors, and details while keeping the original structure, perfect for asset variations, brand themes, or seasonal updates. Let's start with a first method, which involves manual sketching and is applicable to all models, whether they're based on Flux or SDXL. First, select the visual you want to reskin and click Use as Reference. This will open the generation interface where your chosen image will be preloaded as a reference image. If your image was generated on Scenario, the original prompt will also be loaded. If not, you can always add a prompt manually. Make sure the correct AI model is loaded as well, preferably the one used to create the original image. Once your image is loaded, select Dual Reference Mode and Image to Image plus Control Net in the drop down menu. Load the same reference image in both tabs and set the Control Net mode to Structure. Next, click on the Edit icon, the pen, for the top image. This is where we'll manually color the parts of the asset that we want to reskin. Using the Sketch tool, you can paint over the areas you want to change, such as a character's armor, hair, or a building's color accents. For this example of an isometric building, let's simply adjust the colors of the walls, or lights. Once you've highlighted the areas to modify, set the influence of the top image to 20 to 25, and adjust the structure influence for the bottom image to 50 to 100, depending on your model and desired results. When you're ready, click Generate. Scenario will analyze both the sketch and the image structure, automatically applying the transformations, even with an approximate sketching. This method gives you a lot of control, allowing you to reskin specific elements while keeping the core design intact. It's ideal for making subtle yet impactful changes. Now, let's move on to a second method for reskinning using the Style Reference feature which is available for SDXL models so far. In this method, we again use two reference images, one for the structure and one for the style. This approach allows the AI to apply new aesthetics without requiring manual edits, with more creative flexibility. To begin, select your visual and click Use as Reference, just as before. Then, enable the dual mode, Control Net plus Style Reference. Set Control Net Mode to Structure to lock in the asset's form and adjust the Structure Influence to around 50 to 100. Next, add a Style Reference image. This will apply a new visual aesthetic over the structure. For example, if you're working on a building, you could apply a reference image with other color tones. Adjust the Style Reference Influence to around 25 to create the perfect balance between the original structure and the new style. With this method, you can reskin entire sets of assets, applying different styles while ensuring consistency across all variations. This approach efficiently generates asset variations within a cohesive style while allowing the AI to explore creative possibilities. Once your assets are reskinned, you can further refine them using Scenario Enhance. This tool enhances the resolution and brings out finer details, ensuring your assets are production ready. Feel free to experiment with different influences, modes, and styles to find what works best for your project. If you have any questions or want to dive deeper, check out our other tutorials and resources in the Scenario Knowledge Center. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.